Hi, Mash from Ableton.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a search feature for your website. Now, this search feature uses uh, keywords, um, so a bit like when you upload a video to YouTube, you have to enter what they call tags. Um, tags is basically just keywords. So, if I just go to uh, my database here, I've got a database called Search, um, a table called Videos. Um, basically, I've just took the first, the latest three videos. Well, they won't be the latest three anymore because of when this one goes up. But anyway, I've got three videos here. Um, just an ID, um, a name of the video, and the keywords. And um, this is just basic. Obviously, I've got more for the actual website. But anyway, so I've just got some, like for example, here I've got Don't Speak, which is. Um, Guitar Hero, so I've got Guitar Hero, Drums, Drum, Don't Speak. Uh, so keywords are separated uh, by the space. So you can see it down here in the JavaScript one, I've got JavaScript and Java with a space in between the script and the same with jQuery. Just so if people search it differently, they will still be able to get the result up for that video. Um, so, and also as you can see here is what I'm going to show you. If, for example, you've got two in this introduction and then on this one you have two in the keywords again so if you just put in two you will actually get both these two videos up because that's what contains the keywords so anyway let's get on with the actual script if I just open up this here it's got a blank page um, and in index.php or wherever you want the search box to appear so I'm going to create a form action here and that's going to go to search.php method is then equal to post form I'm going to put an input type is equal to text the name uh, search term um, and then I'm going to put a placeholder in this and please note that Internet Explorer um, doesn't recognize this attribute so if you're using Internet Explorer then I would recommend just putting search um, before the actual form but for Firefox, Safari, Google Chrome um, pretty much every other web browser apart from IE will be able to support the placeholder attribute so anyway that's just that search and then we're going to put a break on the end of that and put in a submit button submit um, the value is then going to be search okay so we've got a simple form set up there if I refresh we've got that search and you click search there as you see with placeholder um, it appears inside the text box and then once you click in it it disappears and then anyway so now on to search.php so we can actually start searching for videos so first of all we need to actually um, connect the database so if I just create some PHP tags here um, ok so mysql underscore connect um, and the mysql underscore select db um, I would normally, if you're using a website and I would normally put this into another file like um, DBC which I usually use to connect to the database but for purposes tutorial and for confusion later on um, conf confusion from other videos um, I'm going to stick to just putting connection types like this now okay so we've got um, just put in the settings here I've got the host the username and the password um, and then the database name we call that I call it a search so then we're just going to create a um, search um, function here it's not a function variable sorry <laughs> mine went completely blank then um, and that's basically just going to get what the um, user put in from the form not form search term and around this I'm going to put a function called trim now what trim basically does is um, it takes off any white space from the start and the ending so 
if I, for example, if I've got this box up here and I type in search here like that, we've got no white space after and no white space before. Now if I put a space after it, you can see how we've got white space appearing there and there at the start now, just like that. So what the trim will do is just delete them and it will be left with just the characters that the user search for. Because if it searches for white space then uh, as you can see there's no white space in the database so it will obviously re return nothing basically and then because this is something the users post into the database I'm just going to put in um, I'm just going to string sum MySQL injection prevent there so now we're going to create a query and that's find videos is equal to MySQL underscore query Very good today. Um, okay, so select all from um, videos where keywords, and then we want to put like, like the search. But what we need to put around this search is um, the percentage sign. And this will mean it will um, if a a character or the letter what they're searching for is similar. So if someone puts in T, for example, just a letter T, as you can see that um, it will search for T. So as you can see, we've got a T in guitar, so it will return this one. We've got a T in two and T in two there. So just putting the letter T will return all the results. Then if the user narrows it down to T O, as you can see these these two here will um, still be appeared and then this one will now disappear. So as you can see that's what I'm if you know what I'm getting at with that. Um, so now we can create a while loop. Um, while um, row is equal to my scouts go fetch right and then we can put in the fine videos there and then basically we're just going to get the name of the video nothing else just for now so the name and then we can just echo out um, the name and concatenate onto a break there well not concatenate just in a string if you want to concatenate then you will do it like that it will do exactly the same but when I use I'm just used to putting it all in one string so if you prefer to concatenate then you can do and so if I save this out now this should be a fully functional script so if I refresh and if I search for T for example I can see we get all three results and then if I narrow it down to TO I can see we just get these two results being displayed so that's how to create a search function with features um, to actually make these links now um, basically you just put in a, a href around here with the link here I'm just going to put a hash just to keep the, just to make it look like a link for now if I refresh as you can see we get the links coming up here and basically we'll just put in where you want to go left each so for example like I have I would get the um, from the able 12 website um, I get the ID and then the ID from the database and then I just basically put in watch.php ID is equal to ID like that and then refresh and as you can see um, the ID changes for each now so then once you go on to watch.php you can get the ID from the URL and then display the appropriate video or content so that's how to create a search feature I will be doing a an instant search so for example like on the able 12 website if I just go to the the new one because the um, um, the old one still doesn't have it on yet so as you can see if I type in search down here 
Um, so if I put in G, as you can see we get all this coming up here. I can narrow it down and as I'm typing, um, it's updating by automatically after each um, key press. So I think Google also does it as well. So if I go to Google, um, as you can see, it, it sort of works, but it's done differently, if you know what I mean. It's coming up with the suggestions rather than the actual results. So anyway, that's how to create a simple search with keywords. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time.